Do you know about the Florida Man phenomenon? Well, he made a music video. Florida Man! So if you don't know anything about Florida, it's a very red state, if you know what I mean. And this YouTuber made a music video dedicated to his homeland. I truly believe that this is gonna be the song of the summer. So let's watch this and you better dance. If you see me wrestling with a gator, you better go protect that gator, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah, he knocked that gator the fuck out. I love the way the gator was like, oh, animal abuse? Uh, I'm gonna scurry on out of here. <laughs> That's so funny. That's why you don't mess with the Florida man. Florida man! Hey, someone come protect this gator. He's being a little bitch. Even though he's getting hit with a frying pan. Fuck gators. <laughs> Hi there. So I know I stopped the video a little bit early, but I just want you to know that you should listen to the lyrics because they come from the heart and they have a really deep meaning about them. And I just, I just, I just want you to pay attention. So. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> state of Florida is the only place I'm rapping. Yeah. It's a state where pandemic didn't happen. How ironic, you know, like tell that to the 78,000 people that lost their lives to the pandemic. Oh, oh wait, you can't. No, it definitely wasn't real. No, it never happened, never happened. JFK never landed on the moon. Michael Jackson is still alive. The Illuminati is real. Bikinis, bath cells, and all the crazy antics. Gotta give thanks to Governor DeSantis. So are you gonna thank this guy for not giving a f about anyone when everyone else was in lockdown? Again, have the 78,000 people thank him. Oh, oh wait, they can't. You led by facts, not fear. And you let us decide. You let me go to school. You gave me a voice. Thank you, Governor. Gracias, Governor DeSantis. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Governor DeSantis. Do you know who couldn't thank Ron DeSantis? The estimated 78,000 Floridians killed by COVID, according to the CDC. So I don't know if this video is actually satire or not, but what makes me think that it is actually satire it's the board eight painting and like they have that up like it's the Mona Lisa or something. And, and if this video isn't satire, then I want to become a Florida man. Florida man! I'm just kidding. I never. Land of freedom and fighting alligators and Trump's on the golf course ducking all the haters. So I, I hate to be the guy. I, I hate to be the guy to say this, but you don't dunk in golf from what i've heard i don't think that's the right sport <laughs> see what i did there because it's florida and he talked about trump it's not the right sport well girls are really ugly or gorgeous hot damn don't matter to me because i'm a florida man ugly or not i don't care if you tell me that you're a florida man i'm turning around and walking the other way Okay, next is what I think is the chorus and possibly the best thing I've ever listened to in my life. G A P. Cap. This is some Mozart type shit. Cap. The lyricism is impeccable. Florida is the best. Yeah, it is. Florida will pass the test. I'm a Florida man. No way, I'm a Florida trans guy. Okay, this is where I think, satire or not, this guy is a piece of shit. Because the trans community is being attacked every day constantly by people like this guy. They're losing their rights every day and not just the trans community, but the gay community as a whole. Trans people are people too. Yay people are people too. Bi people are, are people too. Like, obviously, we're people man come on trans people are people too they have emotions they have feelings and they have their own thoughts that they think and if you don't agree with that then fuck off then like go on now oh fuck we live in 1800s or what medieval america medieval world america i feel like we live in the fucking lord of the rings times and fucking motor i don't know if i said that right because <laughs> i've never seen a uh, did I say Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings times and fucking Modar. That's a s <laughs> that's a trash analogy. I'm sorry. <laughs> the gay community is slowly losing their rights every single day, as if 
we aren't real people. And it's truly, truly fucking disgusting. Oh, did you hear that most recently they passed a law? I don't know where, but they, they passed a law that if a Christian business wanted to kick out a gay person, then that is perfectly okay. Not gonna be reprimanded, not, gonna, not nothing. If you're gay in the Christian business, fuck out of here. Which doesn't make sense to me because like, if you're a business, you want every money that you can get. So you're basically losing money if you kick out someone, a part of a community that is many other people. And you you know, people talk. So a lot of gay people aren't gonna go there if that makes sense. And they're gonna lose a lot of money. So why would you do that? I also want that to happen because I'm not gonna give my money to something that doesn't think that I should be what I am. If you're a Christian business, kick me the fuck out. I don't, I'm not gonna be paying a dime to you. I'm sorry. Again, I don't want my money to go to a business that doesn't agree with the way that I live my life. And religion shouldn't be brought into law, in, in my opinion, <laughs> and in many others' opinions. Some people aren't religious. Why implementing that with law? That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That's not freedom of anything. Freedom of religion? Oh wait, this is the religion that we have to be in order to be free. That, what? Where the where the fuck is the logic in that? And for this ass face to make fun of a community that he has no right of having an opinion on, he's an automatic piece of shit in my eyes. I'm sorry. Just saying. Let's just think about a hypothetical scenario that if this guy has had children and they wanted to be trans, gay, bi, or be part of the gay community. It, it's not his choice. <laughs> It's really not. I think my cat is like sad that I'm like yelling and ranting <laughs> because I'm showing a lot of emotion right now. Here's his tell. Hi, Fanny. Hi, Fanny. So you don't even have to be Christian to be anti-gay. You could just literally be anti-gay. And if you are anti-gay, fuck you. <laughs> Cause guess what, bitch? If I want to suck dick, I will suck dick. If I want to eat ass, I will eat ass. If I wanna fuck or get fucked, I'm gonna fuck or get fucked. And if I want to marry a man or a person the same gender as me, then I'm gonna do that. Because I can do whatever I want legally. I can do whatever I want with my own life. No one should be a dictator of my own life, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, let's continue this video. Sorry for the rants, I just, I. Got a big old dick in my pants. Unpopular, unpopular opinion, but anyone that says they have a big dick is lying. I love a girl when she freaking dance. Florida man sells fentanyl. Florida man is named Paul. Bars, just bars. From fentanyl, which is a, a deadly drug, to rhyming with the name Paul. Holy crap, this is a masterpiece. Yeah. Anyone that is from Florida that sells drugs, comment below because you're sick. Florida's got the biggest bugs. A Florida man really sells drugs. Florida man don't give hugs. Yeah, I, I hope you don't, honestly. Florida man smokes the dankest nugs. Florida, don't take no shit. Florida man, yeah, you know we stay lit. I'm talking Florida. I'm talking Florida. There's no way that these people thought when they were writing a song that this was it. Honestly, this, this ain't it. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> can't forget the masculine energy now, can we? I'm talking Florida. I'm talking Florida. Florida. If you've ever been to Florida, you would know that the weather is nice and sunny, but it is also so goddamn humid. It doesn't matter if you just wear a mullet and flip-flops, you're still gonna have swamp ass and sweaty balls. And not the type of sweaty balls that smell good, the ones that smell like goat cheese and cottage cheese and your belly button. Why did I stick my tongue out? <laughs> oh, these are my two children out of the six children that I have. Quello, Fanny. They're amazing. Florida, 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 Florida. 
Mmm, masculine energy for the big, thick chicks. Four. Watching these people sway their ass is so hard to watch. It's like radiation for the eyes. And it's just because like, you know that they don't care about gay people. And this is like the gayest thing I, I have seen these people done. If you hate or don't agree with trans people, then what the fuck is that? Wowzers, that were a bop. Uh, that's what I wrote. <laughs> Wowzers, that was such a bop. Like I can't, I can't lie. That was definitely that's definitely gonna be song of the summer. This is definitely song of the summer. Dua Lipa, dance the night. <laughs> Never heard of it. Charlie XCX, speed drive. Sit down. This song is the shit. No, no, literally, it's a piece of shit song. Now that was really hard to watch, knowing that I now have to listen to this song over and over again while editing in this video. So why don't you do me a favor and give me a like for my pain, please, that I had to endure during the process of making this video. My name is Ian Tune Cortez, or ITC for short, if you didn't know that, and please subscribe or else this thing is gonna haunt your dreams. And comment something that you would want me to review or make a video on next. Thank you for watching. Bye. Florida man.